Hi, this is Lauren from LFP Actions and welcome to today's uh, quick two minute hack. I'm going to show you how to really quickly change the background colour um, or any colour of any element in your image using the colour replacement tool here. This You can find this on your brush menu and choose a colour replacement tool. I'm going to choose a greeny kind of colour to give you a contrast. Always make sure you select here around the middle, not too bright, not too dark. Goldilocks zone in the middle. Okay, um, your settings you're probably going to have to start with colour. You want this middle box here checked to sample once. This will show Photoshop the colour you want to change. Contiguous will show Photoshop that you want to kind of only alter similar coloured pixels and your tolerance will normally be set to around 30. That's a good starting point. You're going to want to change that for every image. Um, so, you know, kind of mix and match that and see how you get on. Duplicate your image, add a layer mask and just start painting to see what happens. You might want to change the colour. For me this is a bit too bright um, but this is on colour mode and you will find this is quite intense. I actually prefer the hue mode um, especially when I'm using a dark image such as this. So you may want to change to hue. Um, so I'm going to duplicate the layer again, add the layer mask. The layer mask is there for later so you can change, um, you know, kind of nip it in a little bit. Okay, so using the hue you can see this is a much gentler colour. My tolerance is only set to 30 which to me would normally suit me but for this tutorial I'm going to have to be really quick so I'm going to up this a little bit. But this also means I'm going to be going over the edges I don't want to go over. Um, but that's what the layer mask is there for. You can play, pick and choose and uh, play around with your settings a little bit to find the right one for your image. It all depends on the lights, the darks, the contrasting colours, um, whether colours are similar or not. There's quite a few things to kind of think about when you're doing this. So again, you're going to want to change your settings. Oh dear, I'm going over two minutes. I do apologise. Um, you're going to want to change your settings, um, your mode, hue or colour. Middle option ticked to, um, you know, to show Photoshop to sample colours that are similar. Your limit's contiguous, unless it's a hard edge prop, you want that set to find edges, but I find contiguous much better. And the tolerance, you're going to you know, play around with Photoshop's tolerance there. And as you can see, I've selected the, the feet uh, and some of the skin accidentally because I'm going rather quickly. So now I'm using the layer mask with a normal brush. I'm off colour brush. I've gone back onto the normal brush. You can do this by holding down shift and hitting B until you find the brush or just hover over again and change to normal brush. And I'm just painting that greeny colour off the skin now. You're going to want to zoom in and do this properly. Um, but as this is just an example, I'm just showing you a very, very quick and rough way of using the colour replacement brush tool. So before and after, there we go. Um, I hope you followed that. It was quite a lot to kind of cram into two minutes and that's why I ran over a little bit. But I really hope that helps um, explain how to use the Photoshop colour replacement tool.